Hey everybody, it's Harry from Step by Daddy Barbecue. I am super excited today because I'm in Austin, Texas. We have a whole day of barbecue planned at T. Roy Cook's home. We're going to be cooking some etouffee, uh, some California style tri-tip barbecue. We're going to have uh, some Arkansas barbecue with red sauce. And I believe that uh, James is going to be making some Texas style barbecue. So we have now T. Roy, Harry Sue from Los Angeles. We've got Kenneth from Texas and then James from Texas. We're going to cook up a barbecue storm so come along for the ride we also have a few other youtubers joining us which i have not met so looking forward to hanging out with my texas buddies with a little bit of barbecue love coming to you from texas all right here we go hey james Hey, how goes it, buddy? Friend. All right, man. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. welcome back to texas. so everybody's here and uh what are we gonna do today uh, a lot of cooking, a lot of eating. <laughs> and, uh, try to stay warm? Yeah, we'll try to stay warm. Hey, T-Roy. <laughs> <laughs> All at the same time, right? <laughs> good timing here. Hey, good to see you. Hey, good, good to see, see you. you too, huh? <laughs> Thanks, All right. Man. So, found your place finally. Oh, yeah. And uh, everybody's here. So, we're going to cook five barbecue, six barbecue styles today. Yes. <laughs> I, uh, I I left I left my shorts back in LA. <laughs> hey, hello. Hi, Craig. Harry, nice to meet you. Hi, Harry. Johnny Stewart, sir. Johnny, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, yes, sir. Hi, Harry. Elton, Elton, nice to meet you. Good to meet you. Okay, all right. Hey, Kenneth. Hey, good to see you, man. Hey, good to see you. All right, thank you. And the gang's all here, including uh, Bruce and Fifi. Except for Arkansas fitness. Okay, uh, you're going to be the Arkansas guy. Cool. I, I had the pork loin somewhere in my bag. Hopefully, the TSA didn't confiscate all the stuff. <laughs> all right, we've got a lot of YouTube folks here. Uh, I'm going to introduce them, let them state what channel they are and what they're cooking. Basically, we're all cooking different dishes uh, from where we grew up. For instance, I'm T. Roy from Troy from T. Roy Cooks. I'm cooking some rabbit gumbo. Harry Sue. All right, I'm Harry from Separate Daddy Barbecue from Los Angeles, and I'm making California style tri tip with pinto beans. Mm. Brother James. And I'm James from Amarin Claymore Smokers, and I will be doing Texas style pork ribs. Kenneth. I'm Kenneth with What's New Barbecue. I'm going to be doing straight dry rub wings. Chef Johnny. I'm Chef Johnny, Texas style barbecue and cuisine, and I'm going to be doing some pulled pork tacos with a chili ancho sauce. Alton, Dogfather. Hey, I'm <laughs> Alton from the Dogfather's Barbecue YouTube channel, and I'm going to be doing a cream cheese stuffed meatloaf. We've got Scott over here from Texas Sausage Company. He brought some of his homemade sausages for us to try today. <laughs> Appreciate that, Scott. You're welcome. All right, folks, it's on. Let's get to cooking. Do it. Alright guys, this is Kenneth with What's New Barbecue. Uh, our buddy Justin from Baby Back Maniac couldn't be here. And y'all know where he's from, from Arkansas. So we thought we'd put together some Arkansas barbecue sauce in honor of his absence so we can still have a little bit of uh, his barbecue love with us today. So what we're putting in this sauce is apple cider vinegar. We have some molasses full flavor. Uh, minced garlic, it called for granulated garlic, but minced will work fine. Um, we have an onion that we're going to dice up as well and get that in there. A red apple. And some cayenne pepper for a little kick in there. And then you got your staple, the, the regular black pepper. And here, I chose smoked paprika. Brother Troy had sweet or hot. We figured sweet would work better in this instance here. And we have our mustard or dry mustard right here and you can't have some barbecue sauce without your brown sugar love so those are the ingredients that we're putting in here for this arkansas barbecue sauce in honor of justin from baby back maniac and we're going to get all this put together get some onions diced up some apples and we'll catch back up with y'all we'll leave the link for the recipe we'll the in the description right because mm -hmm. it's it's uh we'll we, we have to credit should we who should we credit for the recipe fat daddy's barbecue oh fat daddy's barbecue out of yeah. what what state arkansas arkansas wow. fat daddy barbecue. okay all right we're gonna credit yeah. fat daddy for this yeah. uh sauce recipe that uh right. kenneth's gonna make today be teaching culinary arts anywhere anymore yeah. there you go buddies we're in i got I, I got them peeled we're done all right okay now you're gonna puree them Thing that was in the mixture for this Arkansas sauce uh, that we're making again for honor of Baby Back Maniac, Justin, or Jason, depending on who you ask. Uh, we got our apples and onions all diced up, you know, roughly. Okay. And we got them in the pulser, and we're just going to pulse away so we can add this into our sauce, and it'll add a nice natural flavor in there. 
looks like salsa. Somebody, taste it here. Taste it. Yeah, give it, a, give it a shot here. Get you, get you. Little, little, All right, James, you can uh, just go ahead and stick your finger in there. No, no worries. I taste like apple sauce, <laughs> apple onion sauce. That's pretty good. Yeah. Apple onion sauce. It's like yeah, a salsa, kind of yeah. like, kind of like salsa, right? A little bit more heat in there is good. Oh, there isn't any heat at all. No I don't heat? think so. No heat. Yeah, no you didn't put heat. enough cayenne, right? Okay, no. we, we kick some cayenne. In there. So we're gonna cover California style tri tip because I told T Roy that when we come here, each pit master will cook his or her special cuisine. Tri tip is a very very popular cut of meat. It is actually on the bottom sirloin. So in, on a cow, there's gonna be two uh, of these tri tips. One on the left and one on the right. I'm in Texas, so let me ask a bunch of eight Texans behind the camera here. Which side of the brisket is more tender? The left? Always with the left. Is that true? I don't know. Is there <laughs> I've never noticed a difference. Wait, you never did that before? No, no, no. Jerry King, the world brisket champion from uh, I think Fort Worth or Dallas, right? You know, he passed away, but uh, God bless him. Uh, he always told me that the left brisket yeah. is always more tender in Texas. That's what I've always heard. And is there a reason why? It's three hour fist fight argument. Three hours. <laughs> so the tri tip is a very simple formula because the food is really simple in the Santa Maria region. It's primarily using salt and pepper and a little bit of garlic powder. We cook it over a special pit called a Santa Maria style pit, which is a pit that has an open flame and you have a big wheel and a chain that cranks your way up and down. Today we're gonna do it in T Roy's uh, cooker. He has a Santa Maria cooker, so as soon as we finish prepping, we'll take it out there. Uh, the other thing I want to mention also is that I brought with me some special beans. These are from California. These are called, how do you say this, James? Pinquinto? Poquinto. Poquinto beans. Poquinto beans. Is that poquinto? P I N? Is that Spanish sounding? P I N Q U I T O? Pinquito. Pinquito. It will be like little pink. Little pinquito beans, and these are uh, native to the area in the Santa Maria region. I brought three cans with me. These are hard to find, but if you can find them on Amazon, I'll leave the link in the description. You have to buy them kind of 12 cans at a time, but they are really, really good eating. I have, uh, I'm gonna cook them with some bacon. We're gonna cook them with some onion, and then also with some jalapeno. So we're gonna do a pinquinto bean stew. I'm gonna cook some Santa Maria style tri tip the authentic way. My buddy Justin from Baby Bag Mania is not here today. He has bronchitis. So we decided, all of us here, that we would channel Justin. So Justin, this one's for you and lots of love to you. We decided to do Arkansas barbecue in your tradition. We have here a Arkansas sauce and uh, we did make a Arkansas red spicy sauce for you. Kenneth over there, he made it for you. And I'm gonna do a little piggy piggy sandwiches using some pork tenderloin. All right, I'm gonna use a, a few products on the tri-tip. Uh, first one is my uh, first place USA beef rub. I, I've been, done, done really well with this beef rub. It's got not only salt and pepper, but a whole bunch of other things like Worcestershire powder. It's got dried shiitake mushroom, uh, citric acid, and uh, even a celery seed. So this is a good product if you want to use it on a beef product, on a beef meat. So I'm going to put a nice layer of that rub on it. I'm going to follow it up with some black pepper because uh, you want a nice peppery Santa Maria style steak. When you cut it into little kind of a little small thin slices and a little bit of some garlic powder. This was good enough for first place in Santa Maria. I was fortunate enough to compete in a KCBS contest, a tri tip championship in Santa Maria. And uh, everyone said that you had to cook Santa Maria the conventional way, but I decided to do something a little bit different. I smoked my tri tip before searing it over open flame, and uh, that was good enough for first place in Santa Maria. So this is the exact recipe I'm showing you. A little bit of rub, a little bit of rub, and a little bit of garlic, and a little bit of black pepper on it, and this is ready to go. All right, we're gonna season the pork tenderloin now. I'm gonna use a combination of two rubs. I'm gonna use my all-purpose and my chicken rub. The chicken rub is actually really, really good on pork. A lot of teams have taken first place in ribs by putting my chicken rub on the meat side and putting my all-purpose rub on the bone side. So I'm gonna add some of these, this rub on it, first all-purpose. Get a nice layer on it, and uh, what you wanna to try to do is get the rub on until the bottom layer is opaque. Stop right now, and then apply some of the chicken rub. That's the same amount, so two, so two layers of rub. One layer of uh, all-purpose and one layer of uh, chicken rub. Rub it all in. And uh, you, it's best to let it sit for an hour, but if you don't have time, you can cook it right away. We're gonna put this on the Lone Star Grill with some uh, cherry wood, smoke it till it's about 145 degrees, 
and then thinly slice it and we're gonna serve it with some pig candy which I'm gonna show you how to make next. Okay, we're ready to make the pork belly pig candy. It's really easy. You put one part brown sugar and one part rub. So I'm gonna put some rub on the bacon here. You can use cured or uncured bacon, they both work. And then Ken is gonna help me, he's gonna put the brown sugar on. Brown sugar action. Yep, and then we'll get some uh, cayenne pepper on it for some spiciness. We'll cook this in the pit and uh, get it to be nice and kind of uh, very, very sweet and very spicy. And this will be a perfect topping on our little piggy piggy Arkansas style Slide. pork sliders. All right, Troy and I are gonna cook uh, some pig candy for the Arkansas piggy piggy sandwiches. So I'm gonna let uh, this sit here and get happy, make some uh, some uh, pig candy. Pig candy is nothing more than one part brown sugar and one part barbecue rub with lots and lots of cayenne pepper. We're gonna drizzle some honey on it, let it smoke to perfection, and top our little sliders with this wonderful pig candy and slather it with some Arkansas rich, spicy, homemade barbecue sauce. All right, some color on the pig candy. I'm just gonna flip it over, char the other side. You can pull oh. A tray out if you need to. Oh no, it's fine. Looking good. Charring some of the bacon. Gonna get some color on the other side, like so. Just now this is the the one that you showed me that uh, is made in California, right? Yeah, and, Gabby's, uh, Gabby's, Gabby's Grill. Grill, right? Yeah. And then you buy them based on the size of the ring. Yeah. So and it just uh, fits on your rubber kettle. Okay. And then they, they make different size ones for different size kettles. Yeah. yeah okay. All sizes of the rubber okay. kettle. Yeah, it's a you know look looks like a fancy device here, but it's very simple, right? You just yeah. kind of wind it up okay. and wind it down, it's just yeah. like traditional Santa Maria style. And I've got the uh, attachment here to hook up a. Uh, what does that do? And the grooves here for the rotisserie. Okay. The, the model I have has a rotisserie attachment and the, the motor fits. Oh, okay. So yeah, it's an electric motor you put in. And then the spit goes here. Uh huh. Oh, wow. You remove. Uh huh. You can either, either remove the grill or just lift it up all the way so that you can rotate the reach under it. And um, they make them in different finishes or it's just no, black? They're all, they're all black. Black? Yeah. They're well made. I, I can tell. I mean, you know, so, you know solid, solid welding, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. And, uh, yeah, every home, every home should have one, right? Yep. <laughs> I think so. I love this thing. I love cooking on All right, the tri-tip is coming along great, and I'm just going to check it and maybe do a little flip so it gets a nice char on both sides. Yeah, that's coming along fine. So, nice color. And you want to make sure that it doesn't burn. You don't want any burnt rub on your meat here. So that looks perfect right I'm, there. I miss putting the rub on there. What would you put on there? We use uh, some uh, garlic, some of the uh, beef rub, some uh, black pepper, just three three items on it. That'll do the job. Flip this over here. And get this one over also. Fried chips are in the middle of this nice little... Little, uh, little, little uh, beef and uh, pork kumbaya. Are right, we checking temperature now, or try to? About 116-ish, medium rare. 118. Pork loin is 136, 140, 120, 146, and 140. So pork loin about ready. I'm gonna take it off, get it around 145-ish, so we can slice it, let it cool down. Let's make a little simple hot sauce and mayo for the uh, slider. A little bit of mayo here. Since uh, we are in Texas, we've got to use uh, some Texas style hot <coughs> sauce. We are using uh, Texas peat. Can you ask me some black pepper? Thank you. Yeah, it's perfect. All right, we have our little slider bun sauce here. The uh, tenderloin is done, so it's beautifully cooked. I'm going to make uh, our little piggy piggy Arkansas pork sliders in honor of uh, Justin now. So I'm going to slice the uh, pork tenderloin and uh, make it thin, make nice thin cuts like so. And I made a little mayo with Texas speed sauce here. So some beautiful pork. I have my pig candy right here. Get some uh, of the uh, mayo here. I'm going to zoom in and take a closer look here. All right. The latest over here. We'll put a pile of pork on it like so. Beautiful smoked pork tenderloin with your barbecue rub. We'll get some of the uh, pig candy on top. Pig candy is just a brown sugar and some barbecue rub, cayenne pepper, and get some of the sauce right on top. So Justin, 
Baby Back Maniac, since you couldn't make it, this is for you. Little uh, piggy piggy pork slider with a beautiful, spicy, sweet Arkansas style red sauce. And there you have it. Big bite, big bite. Okay. Big bite. That's it. Wonderful. Okay, keep, keep biting. Okay. Get there some of that pig candy. Get some of that pork there. The sauce, the mayo, the bun. Mm. Okay, alright, what do you think? Tell the camera what do you think. You can say you can say it in Spanish or in English. Both are good. Okay. Somebody have a napkin. <laughs> That's really good. Really flavorful. Está bien rico. Tiene bastante sabor, mucha salsa, bien jugosito, really juicy. Juicy. Okay. Yeah. All right. And I can taste all the sauce. The sauce.